Another week, another patch. So here we go again. Patch 27.0.12 and 27.0.12.1. This one is relatively minor, but it still introduces some pretty cool stuff. So first of all, sharing is caring. All loot in Railjack is now shared, which does include the loot you pick up when you're on foot. This is just awesome because previously everyone would have to go through everything on their own because none of the loot you would pick up in an enemy cruise ship or a galleon or one of the asteroid bases or even the anomaly would be shared with the rest of the group. Leading to a scenario where once the mission was done, in addition to everyone flying around trying to vacuum as much loot as possible, everyone would also have to go through like all the asteroid bases, all the galleons or the anomaly as well. This was particularly annoying if you got like an asteroid base and a galleon in the same mission. Especially if you were the person that did these objectives originally, because at the end of the mission you would just sort of sit there twiddling your thumbs waiting for everyone else to pick up their loot. So that was the first big change and the second one has to do with the Tenebrous Ephemera or rather all the rare drops you could get from the anomaly. These have now been added back into the game after the E removed them because their method of acquisition was subpar to say the least, I mean you were fighting RNG on top of RNG on top of RNG in a time gated mission. And their method of acquisition is far more deterministic now. So so the way it works is whenever you finish the anomaly mission, you get one anomaly shard. This is a new type of currency that you can use to buy exotic goods from Little Quack in Fortuna, who now sells all the things you would previously get from the rare container. So we have the Tenebrous Ephemera for 15, and then all five of the different anomaly capture scenes for 10 apiece. So if you want to get everything, you'll have to do the anomaly mission 65 times. And other than that, they made it so that minor breaches, fires and the electrical zappy things will once again restore health to your railjack even if you have a catastrophic breach failure going on, which they had to disable because you could actually use it to kind of make the railjack invulnerable. And that's pretty much it. There is of course a bunch of like, minor fixes and tweaks, but none of them are too terribly important. I also ran into a bug multiple times and I think it's new because I've never experienced it before where if you go into the railjack slingshot, the entire screen just goes black. So that is a bit of a bummer. And that is it. So I thank you very much for watching as always guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I will see you on Monday probably. Bye bye.